strikes on Russian weapons depots do not lead to global problems with shells in the Russian occupation army. This statement was made by Ukrainian military analyst and historian Mikhail Zirakov. There is no need to exaggerate the importance of all these warehouses. Unfortunately, the Russians have a lot of ammunition. Each such warehouse has a certain range of ammunition. Missiles, mines, bombs and so on cannot be stored there at the same time, he explained on the air of the Kiev 24 TV channel. Zirokov noted that each warehouse was designed for a specific range of ammunition. Therefore, the destruction of such warehouses leads to a reduction in the use of certain shells for a limited time, he says. Then, the logistics change and these shells go further to the front. It is clear that the reserves are not made of rubber, but some shells were produced in great numbers during the existence of the Soviet Union. Therefore, the Russians do not have any global problems, the expert summed up. On October the 9th, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine reported that the Ukrainian defense forces successfully destroyed a storage base for the Shahed attack drones, which the Russian Federation uses to terrorize Ukrainian cities. The strike was carried out on a base located near the settlement of Oktyabrsky in the Krasnodar territory of Russia. According to available information, about 400 UAVs were stored there. Earlier, Ukrainian forces struck a cab and ammunition depot of the occupiers near Bryansk. The head of the Center for Countering Disinformation under the National Security and Defense Council, Andrei Kovalenko, said that the damaged arsenal was located just 140 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. Several days ago, the Ukrainian armed forces attacked the enemy's sea oil terminal in the temporarily occupied Theodosia. A large-scale fire is burning there and they still cannot put it out. It is noted that the terminal is the largest in Crimea in terms of transshipment of oil products. There are only two such terminals on the peninsula, the second is located in Sevastopol. Earlier, this facility was successfully attacked by Ukrainian Armed Forces drones in March 2024. Then, four drones fell on the territory of JSC Marine Oil Terminal. The main fuel pumping pipeline was damaged and a fire broke out. The same oil depot was already attacked in December and November last year. Ukrainian Security Service, jointly with the Ukrainian Navy, struck a drone depot belonging to the occupying Russian army near the settlement of Oktyabrsky in Russia's Krasnodar region overnight on October 9. This was stated in the information released by the General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. As a result of the strike, a series of explosions and fire occurred in the warehouse. Up to 400 Iranian-produced, Shahid, kamikaze drones are stored in the warehouse, according to the reports. There have been no reports about casualties so far. General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces stressed in its statement on Thursday that the attack will significantly weaken the Russian invaders' ability to carry out terrorist attacks on peaceful cities and villages across Ukraine. The General Staff did not reveal what weapons had been used to strike the Russian drone depot. However, in one of the videos posted on Telegram channels, Russians are heard saying that, missiles exploded over our heads. It should be noted that Russia used Shahid drones for daily attacks against Ukraine near the Oktyabrsky settlement. <laughs> Ракета взорвалась прямо над нами, блядь. Кто я не полезен, не пожарники, никто. Там люди живут вот как раз. Ну там же, да, дома. Офигеть, все взрывается. 
все взрывается. Вон что творится. Офигеть. Бахает так. Даже, даже предположить не могу, что это. Ой, сейчас опять рванет. Ой, какой огонь. Обалдеть. Творится что. Это просто нереально.